So with that first game in the books, we'll get a look at the standings here. So we play a full round robin. The final six to determine the world champion. So the Slater's in first, eight points. Tracy, that being Rita Nolan in second with six. Kipper and Walsh in third with fifth. And that's the matchup we will show on board number one. The first and third place teams. Slater's versus Kipper and Walsh. Ryan and Tracy is taking on Tracy Tracy on board two. And the Hard Tongues are taking on Bechtel Kappas on board number three. So we get underway here. Fred Slater misses long on the open 20. And Claire Kiffer knocks down the hangar 20. Justin Slater misses over top as well. Hangar chance here for Walsh. Misses on the 20 and kind of bounces off a peg and sort of leaves the disc right back where it was left by Justin. Fred just misses on a sort of half follow through shot needed there for the 20. This one's close to the 20 hole, but not an easy one. But Kipper makes the 20. Yeah. Open board and Slater leaves that one short. And Walsh just settles for hitting this one off in the five. Fred Slater also settles for just hitting it off in the five. Kipper might go for the ricochet 20 here. He does and just misses. Chance here for Justin to score a 20 on the reply. And he gets it with the takeout. And Walsh intentionally leaving on that black disc there so that uh, Kipper will have something to shoot at. Heard the Slaters talking. They were thinking about trying to clear both of them. They kept one on. And then Kipper doing a similar thing, just leaving on the another Slater disc there. And they have the, the comfort to do that, being that they have the hammer here. Justin makes the take out through Hogan's Alley. Walsh tried to roll over, not leave a ricochet in here for Fred, but he has. He rolls the other side of the house, so another chance for Claire to just shoot off and not leave Justin with anything. And again, uh, Nathan can shoot and leave this in a spot that Fred doesn't have anything to work with, although he rolls in a little bit, and there's a chance for a rebound for Fred. Oh, and Fred Slater makes... The rebound 20, that's going to put some pressure on Kipper and Walsh now. And Claire rolls into the middle. He didn't want that, and he's left a chance here. Justin Slater can score the ricochet 20. Nathan Walsh is not going to have anything to shoot at. So chance here. Justin Slater scores his 20. They're going to win the round out of nowhere. Oh, and it bounces back on him. And that will clinch it for Kipper and Walsh. Last shot, inconsequential. As Kipper and Walsh win the first two points there. When what looked like a pretty comfortable round, but got pretty interesting near the end. So Kipper and Walsh and the Slaters, they're the only two teams that made this final six uh, doubles playoffs that are uh, world champions. Kipper and Walsh won the doubles title in 2017. The Slaters are three-time champions. They last won in 2016. Both looking for another one. Fred Slater, ricochet 20 chance here. Rattles around the peg, stays on the board. And Walsh might try to ricochet this in, I think. He does, brings it into the 15. Oh, and Fred Slater makes the 20 off it. I was assuming he was just trying to roll to a nice spot that he wouldn't leave a 20 chance for Kipper, but he rolled right in the 20 hole, which is even better. Kipper responds to the open 20, so does Justin Slater. Walsh leaves that one well short. Tough spot in between the pegs.
Nice fall through attempt there from Nathan Walsh. Saw him make a, a nice fall through 20 in, the, in game number one. Keeper Walsh trying to find some 20 at some point in this game. Justin's not too happy with that one. Maybe there's a touch 20 there for Walsh. And he does get the touch 20. So putting some pressure on Fred Slater here to respond with the open 20. And he does. So Slater's up a 20 with the hammer. And that one kicking back to the outside. Easy shot for Justin Slater. Nothing Walsh can do on his. And the Slaters will respond with two points of their own to tie this up at 2-2. up on colors before we start off round number three. And Justin Slater starting off round number three makes the 20. Nathan Walsh responds. That Slater shot just bounces out. Slater tries to roll away, it bounces off a peg and rolls into a spot that there is a ricochet chance for Justin, and he makes it. So pressure back to Walsh. Walsh answers. Okay. And Kipper misses a little bit wide of the hole, so Justin Slater might go for another 20 here. Oh, and he does. <laughs> it makes it beautifully done. Walsh responds again with the open 20. And Fred Slater just misses short, but it's in a good spot. Only the fall through chance here for Kipfer. Uh, loses the shooter. Open board for Justin. And Justin misses over top. Hanger chance here for Walsh. And Walsh makes it, so we're all tied up with five shots left in this round. Kipper and Walsh with a hammer here. Fred Slater makes the open 20. Pressure on Kipper. Kipper makes the open 20. Justin as well. And Walsh as well, so all the way around. Fred first to miss. Heavy hanger here for Kipfer. Doesn't get it and doesn't get the takeout. So Justin confirming the situation here. And the situation is that I think if Justin makes a, a long ricochet 20 here, the slate is a golden. And bounces off a peg. Let's see what Walsh does. So a little bit tough to hear what Walsh said, but what he said was that uh, he was going to leave the... He took that disc off because he thinks Kipper can roll the other disc into a 15 on his final shot. And you hear the Slaters talking. They didn't feel like they could score a 20 there, so they just wanted to roll in the 10. So Kipper's got to take one off in the 10 and roll in the 15 for the win. Oh, and he rolls it. He did get it into the 15, but too much speed on it. It rolls off the board, and the Slaters, the Kiffer, uh, Kiffer and Walsh going for the two points there, unfortunately for them, end up with none. It was an easy chance for a tie. Just needed a hit and stick. Try to roll into the 15 for the two points. It would roll too far, and the Slaters take those two points. So the Slaters winning those two points against the Hammer, and now round number four coming up. Nathan Walsh to start off. And he misses wide of the 20 hole. Yeah. And 
Red makes a mistake there. Jams on a peg, loses the shooter. Open board. Kipper just barely gets that one inside the house. Kind of a tricky spot here for Justin. Does stick that one in front of a peg pretty nicely, although he doesn't get the takeout. Walsh going for the rebound here, it looks like. Doesn't get the 20, but uh, sort of separates out the red disc, so that black disc is now more easily accessible for a takeout. Fred Slater trying to get the double on the one that was in the 10 and the 5, and missed the double, but uh, well, at least got the single takeout out of it. Kipper cars one into the 15 and says that's what he should have done last time, referring to uh, his last shot from the third round. Let's see if Walsh goes for the ricochet 20 here. Oh, and he gets the 20 in a little bit of an unorthodox fashion, but he got the 20. Slater's discussing their strategy there and hard to pick up on when teams have, double teams have their own unique uh, vernacular that they use. Slater's saying you could just play solid there, which I assume just mean not going for a 20, just going for a takeout. A chance here for Justin Slater, but it bounces out on that 20 chance. So the Slater's still at the hammer, but if Kipper and Walsh, well, Walsh loses that shooter off the board, but the, the leave is okay. It just leaves that that lonely red disc in the five. So no chance for uh, Fred Slater to do much with that. So Nathan says he's got the double. Uh, Kipper, I think, was going for the takeout there. He left on that black disc. So now there's four black discs on the board. Kipper and Walsh really need this double here. They get it. Good roll there from Fred Slater to try to get that one in the 10. Now Kipper's got to respond with a double here. And it looks like he got it. Yep. Justin probably wanted to keep that one in the 10. He's rolled to the five. So there's only 15 points on the board for black there. So Slaters don't really have much chance here. Well, they peel their own, and they're going to hope for a miss here from Claire. And he sticks it in a nice spot that I don't think Justin Slater has a chance here. This would be an incredible shot if Justin Slater can make the double takeout 20. So the buzzer goes, but there is you can complete this final shot to uh, even up the shots among the, the uh, two teams. Justin tried for the impossible shot, didn't make it. Kipper and Walsh take the final two points, and they tie this game 4-4. We see the results from the other games. Tracy Tracy defeated Ryman Tracy by a score of 6-2, and the Hartungs tied with Bechtel Kappas by a score of 4-4. We'll take a look at some of the uh, highlights from that, uh, the matchup with three Tracys in it. Let's see maybe where, uh, where the 6-2 victory came from. Nice uh, long ricochet here from Nolan Tracy. Sort of an identical uh, kind of side hanger 20 there from Reed Tracy. Now we got a long ricochet shot there from Jeremy Tracy. And that concludes the uh, second game of this doubles playoff.